I'm joined here by Noel Flathby, PhD student working with Chagas and UCD. Uh, Noel, Michael has given an introduction, but I suppose you're the man that's here that's been dealing with the nuts and bolts, the day-to-day -day management, and maybe taking it one step beyond maybe from what we talked about. Michael, the farmers are interested in knowing how easy it is actually maybe to manage these lambs, and even something as simple as, say, a lot of these lambs are coming from a hill sort of system. We see them here, they're eating very well now, but how easy is it to get them onto meal? Um, it is uh, quite easy. Uh, all animals here, um, when they're brought in off grass, we bring them in and we split them up into their groups. Uh, they start on 100% silage, so we just throw them in. Um, and we just throw them in silage and we put them in um, 100 grams of concentrate a day. And uh, we put it up by 300 grams every two days until until they go up to the peak of about 1.2 or 1.3 kilos a day. And say they're up at 1.2, 1.3 kilos, there probably is a, a large bit of variation in, like I said, there's some lambs doing say 300 grams, there's some doing 400, 450, so there probably is a fair bit of variation. Yeah. What sort of range are you seeing in regards to meat intake? Um, regards meat intake anywhere from three quarters of a kilo to a kilo and a half. And intake could be a big perform or it'd be a big driver of performance. So obviously the quicker you can get the meeting to 100 percent of their capacity, it's it's gonna um, it's going to increase gains and they'll be driving quicker. And I suppose water intake is huge, that even here, just standing here for a few minutes, the amount of times lambs go, we access the water. That's yeah. something that's kept it, right up to date, you check Say water trust, make sure it's critical to like um, to make sure that it's always clean, it's always it's always okay for them to go over and drink it and they always have hundred percent access to clean fresh water. In regards say trap management then, uh, after meals maybe say it's ad lib meal, but do you let it run nearly nearly out to sort of to make sure there's fresh meal or what way do you manage trust? Um, as long as the trough is clean, you keep it filled up as quick as possible because if the trough goes clean it means that an animal there's a chance that it's on that um that there's going to be animals who aren't going to eat more in it so it's going to go clean it means that there's a hungry animal in the pen and you're you're, you're probably leading to problems in like acidosis on if like that's something that you're keen to manage at the beginning and that's slow phase in is just yes. oh, yeah. buildable yeah uh, health concerns, then, uh, I know you would have done say, all lambs for the 8 and 1 or 10 and 1. That would be, one of, the, yeah, yeah, that'd be one of the major ones. What else, sir? Um, after that, it was just the basic things like uh, keep them healthy, to have a nice, cool shed with plenty of air blowing through it. The odd ones taken out, treated for scald, small bit of foot rot. Just small things, but we haven't any big health issues. Yeah, I suppose if you just keep on top of them, rather yeah, just than, keep on top of them, and yeah, and, and maybe have you need that provincial plan in place. This lambs are foot battered when they yeah, come in, yes, and that's yes, and usually when we put them in clean and they're healthy, we won't have any problems. Usually, in regards to say marketing, as you see, lambs say probably try even differently. You're looking sort of, I suppose, maybe on weight and fat cover. Uh, yeah. Um, I say it'd be critical to uh, go around all your pens maybe once every 10 days and pull either if it's on a draft weight or if you're handling. But I say a combination of one is probably best. Uh, one pint, an intake of one pint, say two, one pint three kilos. You can probably, you know all about it, carrying the meat around to the different things. Yeah. If you don't start feeding it the right way, you can, you can use a lot of meat. Yes. And differences in regards to uh, intake in the lower end of the spectrum versus higher? Your Texan cross lambs maybe, your Chevy's at the higher, scratch at the lower? Um, you'd be talking on a crossbred Texan, he'd have the potential to go to 1.8, 2 kilograms a day. A scotch, he'd hang around uh, 1.3 to 1.5. Yeah, so it's going to be somewhere in between both, intermediate. It's probably something the farmers say sometimes, Jeannie, the lambs are eating too much, or Jeannie, I fed them and they're up near 2 kilos, but 
the that's I suppose short shorts maybe bursts, uh, maybe even a compensatory growth and they tail off then after that to an average of this for, for farmers that are experiencing that there's no harm that the lambs uh, are doing are giving it back in performance. Yeah no uh, obviously in the brought in there's going to be there could be a small bit of compensatory growth the growth rate is going to be higher at when you start them off and um, the castrated animal it's going to it's going to come to a plane quicker in an entire animal it'll keep going up for a small bit more and uh, eel grow quicker and have a greater seed for efficiency. There's probably a message in that for farmers as well in this weight performance that say to be to, to know when is the time to pull the trigger, to know when your lambs have got maybe a bit slower in performing yeah, and yeah. that's something that you how how often would you be weighing lambs here? We weigh them probably when we're drafting it'd be once a week. Once a week. And um, yeah, once a week. Okay, well, no, thanks very much for yes, that Darren. update on the management, and uh, we'd best look at the rest of your studies. Cheers, thanks, Darren.